hey guys, this is Vinny and I want, and I'm talking about Ubisoft Forward. I will have the link in the description so you can go and watch it. It's around 47 minutes. Now, Ubisoft Forward was actually really nice because most game presentations, they show you a lot of games, a lot of new games and whatnot, right? Ubisoft didn't do that. They basically picked a few games and for around 47 minutes, went deeper into them to the point, not to the point of spoilers, but to the point where, yeah, I'm actually interested to play some of these now that I wasn't interested in before. First off, Watch Dogs Legions. Yes, we knew that you could basically play as a lot of different people in this game, right? But what they showed really made me want to possibly get the game. I'm not a Watch Dogs fan. Truth be told, I own Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs 1, but I haven't really played either of them. But with Legion, what makes it cool is that because you can play with so many different characters, you can basically approach a mission in many different ways. And they showed it. They showed just directly approaching the mission, you know, killing the guards, doing whatever. They showed being more of a stealth person, like the girl with her drone and being able to just use the drone to like sneak up and take out the guards. And then... The last part, they were like, hey, you don't need stealth. You don't need to kill anybody. You just need this woman who happened to be an employee, I think, at the building that she needed to get into. And then she snuck in and found out the information that she needed to find. And that is really cool because it's like, yeah, you can basically tackle this mission in multiple different ways. And that's different. That's not even just like when they say, hey, you can do this. You can shoot them. You can go in stealth. You can do this. No, this is adds so many different ways to tackle the same mission and that's what really made me make me want to buy this game eventually because if you can play the game in so many different ways then that appeals to a bunch of different people now the other game that looked interesting was hyperscape but the thing is that it just looks like a battle royale it didn't interest me that much because at first it kind of interests me because it looked like it was going to have this story but i'm not sure will it have a story will it not will it just be another battle royale mm -hmm. it wasn't really made clear by the trailer i know there's a beta I probably won't get it. Maybe maybe when there's a console beta, I'll play it, but probably won't play the PC beta. And they talked about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, I'm not sure about that. They didn't really draw me in with anything they showed. But we did get a message from Phil Spencer, and it's cool. It seems like, I believe, Watch Dogs Legion, at least, is supporting Xbox Smart Delivery, which means that if you buy the Xbox One version of the game, like, this year, and then when you get the Xbox Series X, you can upgrade for free. So hopefully the other games too, especially like, you know, Assassin's Creed and whatnot, will also support smart delivery. If Ubisoft fully supports smart delivery with its game, it could have an advantage over companies that don't, I believe. Because Xbox One owners, I think, will look for games that have smart delivery because they would rather buy them than buy a game that isn't going to be freely upgradable when they go to Xbox Series X. They wouldn't want to have to buy the game again or even just pay a $10 fee to upgrade. So it's good to see that Ubisoft seems like they're going to be taking advantage, at least with Watch Dogs Legion so far, hopefully with the other games as well. But other than that, there wasn't much. There was the Far Cry tr 6 trailer at the end, and I do like the actor who's playing the antagonist. I've seen him in other movies, I think, and I like him, but other than that, we don't really know much about this game. But the overall presentation was really good. It, it I really liked how they went deep enough into games to get you interested, but they didn't go too deep to the point where they spoil it for you. But what do you guys think about the Ubisoft Forward? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching my live stream. Subscribe, and God bless you all.